Hello everyone, I am Gabriel and welcome to my channel. I am playing Pachycephalosaurus from 0 to 100%. Well, as usual, how would you start uh, uh, to grow your dinosaur on a, an official server that is? I just, uh, uh, I'm just moving away from Southeast, that is Delta River, we are seeing from afar. And I feel cheeky enough to stay uh, in a clear area on a slope just below Mount Jagger, that one is just because I'm close enough to uh, the forest. In case the, the situation gets bad, gets dire, I just run in the forest and I try to make uh, uh, myself scars, that is. Now, I just had southeast, I just had a couple of horned melons, like a lot of horned melons, and I'm going to central grassland. I am already center, but very much south of center to get agaves. This is the riskier part of uh, uh, the Pachycephalosaurus growth time, of the Pachycephalosaurus uh, uh, growing uh, period, let's say, if you wanna be on a perfect diet. By the way, by the way, with just one nutrient, what just one nutrient, I managed to get up to 36% growth stage. Now, uh, Pachycephalosaurus is not the strongest playable. It's uh, very strong in groups. It can fracture, uh, it can fracture legs, body and heads with three different uh, uh, types of uh, uh, concussions. I mean, uh, if I fracture uh, some other playable's head, their school uh, gets a blurry vision and their attack power with their bite is uh, very much reduced. So that, that's pretty strong. I mean, uh, you are reducing someone else's uh, attack power, at least the bite force, plus their vision is blurry. And uh, oh, check it. Carnotaurus up there. I'm gonna stay in the forest just because I am gonna be less visible. That's why you wanna stay around forests as much as possible with Pachycephalosaurus above all. It is true that on that side where that uh, Carnotaurus is, there is some agaves. That's uh, what I wanna get. Agaves. If that Carnotaurus saw me, I'm probably dead. So I'm gonna move from this area. I will use shadows to conceal my presence. I don't think that Carnotaurus player saw me, but nevertheless, I'm going to move. So, uh, I'm just going towards uh, a spine wall. Spine wall, I mean pocket river. Pocket river on the east and afterwards, if I'm not lucky enough to sniff any agaves, south of center, south of the grassland, nearby my position, I will just ignore agaves for now, because uh, too many Carnotauruses on the loose. Too many Carnotauruses on the loose means I'm gonna be dead. Pachycephalosaurus is uh, to be played with uh, uh, many players, with uh, uh, many more players. It's not a solo gameplay, such as Carnotaurus is, for example, or like Utraptor can be. I mean, you can still run away with these playables, in case you find some danger. Instead, Pachycephalosaurus relies very much on hiding. I mean, check it, it's, uh, it's got a hunched body. It's like uh, crooked all the way down. It's uh, to hide better, it is to hide better. Uh, because uh, its uh, speed is not the best at all. I mean, uh, it's been improved with the last patch, its uh, speed, but uh, still not good. 30 kilometers per hour, just plain bad, just plain bad, I'm sorry. So you rely very much on hiding, 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 and hiding. If there is an agave, if I manage to sniff an agave on uh, that side, if I am lucky enough to sniff one agave on that side, uh, I don't know if uh, I will go there. Oh man, I'm going there anyway. I'm going there anyway. So, this is about herbivores and carnivores, again. Uh, it's not about uh, uh, skirmishes, it's not about uh, battling, it's just about utter survival. I'm going to get some agaves just because I am stubborn. Come on, I am a Pachycephalosaurus. I am that stubborn. I am a little, very stubborn Pachycephalosaurus that wanna get some agaves. It doesn't matter the risk, I'm risking a lot. So I am jumping, I'm doing big leaps actually, big leaps from bush to bush, from forest to bush, and uh, so on and on. All right, this looks like a safe spot where I can sniff again. Hopefully no uh, carnivore saw me because otherwise I'm dead. Please make it no carnivore saw me, otherwise I'm dead. All right, it looks safe enough. I'm gonna use this bush as a partial coverage for my pocky and then sniff the air to get some agave scent, hopefully. Now, herbivores need to move in order to get a perfect diet since start. 
It's a pretty... Oh, check it. Is that an S-shape? Just where I came from? No. It's uh, farther away that way. Oh, a rabbit. Uh, plenty of AI around. Uh, all carnivore players must be terrestrial. Carnivore players must be super happy. I am when I'm playing carnivore. Uh, it's uh, very rare that I die of starvation. It, it's hap it happened that I've died of starvation. But uh, very rare times. Very rare times. Because I go in uh, places where nobody else goes. For example, these are uh, tall bushes. Tall... Uh, yeah, tall grass. I mean, I say it in a weird way, but because I'm checking it from uh, too close. I, I'm not entirely sure that uh, this is considered hiding. It does have some weird effects, this tall grass, but all right. So, let me uh, sniff again, because I've seen that S-shape nutrient that only agave can give me. So, you have to move. You have to move with your diet. Survival-wise, if you want to grow... Uh, fast if you do not want to uh, take ages to grow your playable you have to move afk growth or uh, growth in one place that is way more risky or agave is just below here can you see it that that is agave that is agave that's what i want and uh, it's an it is in a fantastic place it is in a fantastic place under a bush this is just great i mean i am in the middle of a prairie with uh, a goat up there, probably a goat or a deer, but probably a goat it is. Just down there, there is a trash pit slash former oasis down there. Uh, radio tower, can you see it from far away with that flickering light just uh, top center of the screen? That's radio tower and I want to go that direction. I just want to go that direction. I will fill my belly with this agave, by the way. I will fill my belly with this agave. So you have to move with diets. This uh, patch is already um, helping a lot carnivores rather than herbivores because uh, carnivores are opportunistic predators. They are very opportunistic, they rely on opportunities in order to uh, fill their belly, to, f full, uh, to make their belly full. Instead herbivores uh, are not opportunistic, depending on where they are, uh, they can get a ton of food. But of just one nutrient you have to move you have to migrate you have to go from one place to another one and i fully agree on that now uh this game is not about uh, uh, getting to 100 percent and then getting in a skirmish i do it i do it i just love it i just get to 100 percent at times just to get into a skirmish or sometimes i just get into a skirmish just because uh, and afterwards i die but well all of us have different types of gameplay but this game is just survival how you can survive, what kind of challenges you can put yourself up to, etc, etc. So, instead carnivores, I have spoken about herbivores, you have to migrate from one place to another one, and uh, uh, carnivores, because uh, one uh, AI, one AI um, object now gives you a lot of food, more food than before, you can actually, uh, you actually need less AIs around. Instead, the game is uh, full of AIs, plenty of artificial intelligence, uh, uh, I don't know, objects, animals, boars, deers, goats, uh, uh, that give you a lot of food. Now, some of these uh, uh, will give you just food, not only, not nutrients, but just plain food. And uh, that can be all right. I can fill my belly, but I will not get a perfect diet by eating this. Beep, beep, big thing. Now you can get a perfect diet up to 50% growth stage. I mean, if you eat anything, anything that is meat and it is in your diet, excluding uh, Euteraptors, Euteraptors, if you eat someone that is uh, the same species as you, another Euteraptor, you will get some uh, sickness, like random bites, like uh, anything really random bites, uh, um, I don't know, madness, uh, uh, sounds, uh oh, this is not a good, uh, a good omen, Carnotaurus, Carnotaurus around, Carnotaurus around, Carnotaurus around, I doubt that one, uh, oh, probably Stegosaurus, who knows, probably a Stegosaurus, I hear a Stegosaurus farther away, but I hear as well plenty of Carnos, so, getting back uh, on what I was talking to, carnivores have plenty of food, Food sources give out more food compared to previous, uh, uh, pre compared to how things were previously before this patch, before 8.77.141, actually 0 0.75 point something else, I don't know. So, 
uh, air carnivores don't need to move, they can stand in one place standing still. The more time you stand still, the more likely it is for you to survive. I mean, uh, you are not giving away your position by moving in clear areas because you have to go to a certain spot. Sooner or later, you have to leave those forests as a herbivore in order to get to some spots. Sooner or later, you have to cross uh, uh, the Cut River. I mean, the Cut River. Lemon River, Hell River, the Cut, the river that is cutting that is cutting <laughs> and center in two northern and cent and uh, central south center that is you have not to move that much as uh, herbivores have so carnivores have the upper hand compared to herbivores plus uh, it is not necessary for a carnivore uh, to get uh, on a perfect diet after they reach 100% i mean it is true that you get certain perks after that growth stage okay Running, 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 water here is shallow enough, but it is shallow just here, just here, all right, things went well, things went well, I just need a drink, another drink, using this rock as my shield, using this rock as my shield, hopefully uh, everything will go smooth, so, there is no need uh, for, carnivores are actually super strong now with these uh, uh, food improvements, let's say, you get more food out of one food source, this is helping a ton carnivores. It is true that sometimes you have to eat something that is not in your diet, but it's all right, as long as it doesn't give you any uh, big bad things, like uh, Utraptor cannibalizing their own, then uh, we are uh, uh, talking about something else. I mean, uh, you have to eat in order to survive. You have to eat your own in order to survive. You are uh, in a very dire situation, so you have to eat your own. But... Uh, so far, every time I have played carnivores, every time I have played a carnivore and uh, I managed to get to uh, a sub-adult stage, let's say, because I found food, because I found food as a juvenile, I've always dragged those nutrients from my uh, juvenile stage because I've tried to enter, always, I've always tried to enter my uh, sub-adult stage, that 51% growth stage, with a full belly, with as much, as much nutrients, as many nutrients as possible. Uh, so I could drag my uh, growth uh, stage, my perfect growth stage with a carnivore up to, I don't know, 90%, 100%, 80%, depending on which playable I was playing, either Utraptor, Carnotaurus, uh, uh, Dinosuchus even, it's uh, a lot easier now for, carnota for uh, carnivores than herbivores. They need three nutrients. They definitely need three nutrients. Now, uh, if you have to move uh, and sometimes you do not find that nutrient, everything is work in progress. Keep in mind that you as an opportunistic uh, predator, as a carnivore, you already have plenty of food around. You can make it do with just one nutrient. It is true that sometimes you don't find that deer that is just uh, central because everyone is just playing Carnotaurus, for example, and uh, Dryosaurus, not many players play Dryosaurus around, but still you have two nutrients. You are already at 100% or close enough to it, depending on... Uh, um, how full your belly was when you entered that 50% growth stage. Now, I'm saying this because sometimes I read comments like, oh, remove the di diets from uh, carnivores. Oh man, are you playing only car carnivores? You know, we have nine playables at the moment. Nine playables. Some of them are Carnotaurus, some of them are not. I don't know, there is a lot of variety other than Carnotaurus and making Carnotaurus hyper strong. For example, I'm just picking Carnotaurus as an example because it's super strong at the moment, in my opinion. Check it, mangoes! Okay, this is kind of silly for me to go check it. Uh, I don't need to check them, but I will go. I will go and check it anyway. I'm going in a clear area, clear spot, and that's just not safe. Oh, can I smash them down? Mangoes! No, none of them fell down. I don't need mangoes. Uh, Dryosaurus need mangoes. Oh man, I actually need to play Dryosaurus. I, I don't remember if Dryosaurus needs mangoes. Probably not. Oh, it's, I suck. I suck, I know. Sorry. I should play Dryosaurus and sometimes Ipsy. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, my fault. Well, again, as I was saying, um, if you remove uh, diets from carnivores, what about herbivores? We're gonna see just Carnotaurus around. I'm just picking Carnotaurus now, but... Uh, 
uh, any carnivore in general. You cannot say, you cannot say I remo remove diets. Then we have AFK growers again. I mean, oh, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna eat now, and then I will go back later, a bit later, you know, I'm gonna ba go back, uh, I don't know, how long does it take for this Carnotaurus to grow? Oh, half an hour, in half an hour I need to go back and eat something, all right. Wait a moment, I'm gonna have a coffee, I'm gonna study a bit, I'm gonna do some work, and uh, then I will get back here. Once uh, I'm close enough to, I don't know, to uh, starvation, I go back here and uh, I eat anything I wish, uh, just to get back on a perfect diet because I just need one nutrient. Anything is good, really. So, yeah, diets, three nutrients are actually good. They feel good. Oh, coconuts. Coconuts. I didn't even need to smell them, to sniff the air. That's good. I have, I am on a perfect diet. I just had to cross the entire map. But, hey, herbivores, carnivores, they just one nutrient. I don't think so. I heavily disagree on, uh, uh, on that, on... Uh, what people say about uh, carnivores uh, on one diet. And I'm dead. You see that? You see that? This was a smart player that was waiting for Pakis to pass by. It's, uh, I don't know if they are even hungry. Oh, they are. Well, talking about the devil, talking about the devil, that was uh, poorly played on my side. I should have checked my surroundings. Well, uh, I could have been on a perfect diet if I played safely. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't check my surroundings. Well, um, this is just my opinion on why diets are necessary. And not only for herbivores, but for carnivores. For Carnotaurus, as an example. So, everything needs to be balanced. I cannot see 10,000 Carnotaurus or 10,000 Eutheraptors. Or even, I mean, before this patch, we had 10,000 Stegos. 10,000 Stegos. I mean... Uh, we need some balance, we need to find some balance and developers are making their best in order to find some balance between herbivores and carnivores. This patch is already heavily focused in helping carnivore players. Uh, next patch will heavily focus on helping herbivores, just, to lo just looking for a balance in all of this. Uh, there is nothing bad in, uh, in diets, in my opinion, it's uh, the right direction, they need to have three nutrients, definitely need to have three nutrients, because two nutrients might be too little, I mean, three nutrients, it feels good. And uh, about punishing too much, probably they are punishing too much with growth times, with just one nutrient, with just two nutrients, probably. But then what? People will go uh, AFK again in order to grow. I will, I would, I would, personally, I would. Uh, making this, it will, it's creating already, it's already created the diets, more active players in game. I bet that uh, if there were a heat map, if there was a heat map before diets, we could see that players were mainly standing still in one spot and after they got to a decent growth stage, they started moving. But what's fun in that everyone is already you just grow up to 100 percent and then you start engaging or interacting with others nah come on where is the difference and variety in gameplay this, this is just my opinion though uh, probably some of you heavily disagree with me but uh, diets are necessary probably um, if they are punishing too much i don't know in my opinion they are good they need to punish this much uh, uh, this much it does have a steep learning curve for uh, new players though. It does have a steep learning curve for new players. They need to know uh, where to go, how to find their diets. That is very much true. New players will feel uh, and are feeling overwhelmed. So some players might say, all right, Carnotaurus needs just one nutrient. Mm, no, no, no. So does have a steep learning curve and some players might say, all right, diets are bad, but no, trust me, plenty of players that have played a long time, most of them at least uh, will agree that they did AFK grow more than once. Well, sorry, I'm going to wrap this episode today. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing my channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.